Hello everyone and welcome to some very disturbing news from the chess world. Uh, you are probably wondering why I'm using this format instead of the usual one. Well, it's the one I use when I have some very, very urgent news and this one is uh, most urgent. Magnus Carlsen will not be defending his title of world champion uh, against Jan Nepomneshi next year. Uh, he announced it today on, uh, on a podcast, um, uh, it was called the, the, the Magnus Effect um, uh, for his sponsor uh, Unibet and uh, it's something that every Everyone thought was a bluff, but Magnus Carlsen did say that unless Alireza Firuja wins the uh, candidates tournament, that he will not be playing. And even though everyone thought it was a it was a joke, that you know, uh, what are the chances that he he will not play for the for a World Chess Championship title? Uh, it seems that uh, he was telling the truth all along. He says that he just doesn't have all that much to gain, and that uh, uh, he will not be retiring. Of course, he will still be playing chess. He will still uh, be uh, heading towards that goal of hitting the 2900 uh, classical rating he will still play uh, all, all the other tournaments but I think uh, most of that he is just bored with the format it, it's um, uh, he considers it a very uh, old-fashioned format just so many classical games and it takes months of preparation for the world Chess championship match and even for uh, even though for us the viewers it's uh, like the the absolute highlight of the year of, of every two years as the, we have one year the candidates tournament the next year the world Chess championship match uh, it seems that uh, it's just uh, too much of a hassle for him and that, uh, well, I, I think he just doesn't think that it will uh, be relevant for, for very long because younger players now don't really enjoy classical that much. They play a lot more bullet, a lot more blitz, a lot more rapid and that if there should be a world chess championship, um, well, or, or some sort of a... Uh, highest tier uh, t uh, ch uh, challenge or a tournament uh, that it should include all formats, maybe like a few a few games of classical, also rapid, also blitz, maybe even end with an Armageddon, uh, but de definitely not um, I don't know 12 games of classical, or, or even they considered uh, increasing it to 14 or maybe 16, uh, or let alone how they did it in the old days, uh, even more than that, like 24 or, <laughs> or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much the news. I'm very much interested as usual what you guys have to say about this it's um uh, it's sort of an end of an era but uh yeah, uh, you know, it, it would be it would be terrible if Magnus decided to not to play altogether. Uh, but we'll still be seeing a, a whole lot of Magnus, so uh, it, it it's not a, a, as 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 bad. Uh, but I, I think it will. Yeah, I don't know. It, it will leave a sour taste uh, for whoever wins the World Chess Championship title because now, of course, Yanni Pomnichu will be playing against Ding Liren, uh, who uh, won second place in the in the candidates tournament, um, and it it will not be as as uh, prestigious as uh, taking away the World Chess Championship title away f from Magnus Carlsen himself. Uh, he's been world champion since uh, 2013, since he's uh, taken the title away from Vishwanathan Anand, and uh, he's been the highest rated player for over a decade now. He's been, uh, I think he's been over 2,800 for, for over a decade. Uh, ever since he uh, breached 2,800, he never uh, <laughs> went below that because everyone other than Magnus Carlsen, they went into the 2,800 club, stayed there a little bit, and then they dropped out. But now, uh, as I'm making this video, only only Magnus and the Ding are in the 2800 club. Nepo is very very close, so it will be Yanni Pomnichi versus Ding Liren for the World Chess Championship match title uh, next year, uh, and the Magnus will not be playing. Mag ma maybe he changes his mind at some point. Maybe he gives up the title now and then decides to rejoin the candidates tournament some uh, in some other cycle. Uh, and then maybe he goes through it all over again, uh, but I guess, uh, I don't know, if he decided not to do it now, then I think that that's the decision that he will stick with, and um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, wh what do you guys think about that, and what does this mean for the chess world altogether? Uh, we'll see. Uh, the future of chess is, is very uncertain at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, uh, thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.